Nothing. Steam is a complete joke. Hey guys, I hope y'all are having an absolutely fantastic day because today we're going to be taking a look at a Nintendo fanboy who thinks that Steam is a complete joke and has absolutely no games, despite, you know, having the most games out of any platform statistically. Anyway, I don't really have that much else to say. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you don't, you can leave a dislike and a salty comment. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I have spent the last two days doing nothing but playing games on Steam, that's right. You know, you just gotta love the video that's titled There is nothing to play on Steam, starting out with a guy saying I spent the last two days playing games on Steam. Really doesn't help your argument. Nothing says there's no games on Steam, like starting off your video saying that you spent the last two days playing games on Steam. This is like me making a video saying there's no food at the grocery store while walking past a big aisle of food at the grocery store. I got my high-end gaming PC set up. I mentioned this in a previous video where you talk about my high-end gaming PC. Why do you never ever show the specs or say the specs of said high-end gaming PC? And plus, you don't even need a high-end gaming PC to enjoy PC gaming. Tons of indie games come out nowadays and they run perfectly fine on like 1080s, you know, 1060s. They, they run fine. Uh, the Steam Deck you can use to enjoy a lot of PC gaming, and games run great on that too. Well, maybe not all AAA games, because a lot of AAA developers nowadays, uh, the ones that optimize games, drink glue. You know, I downloaded a bunch of games. Okay, so you titled your video, There's Nothing to Play on Steam, yet you start off your video saying you spent the last two days playing games on Steam, and now you're saying you downloaded a bunch of games off Steam. Which one is it, dude? Make up your fucking mind. I was searching through the libraries, I was I was looking at the Steam store, I was looking at the Steam sales, I was looking at upcoming releases, I was sitting there for hours and hours and hours trying to find something to play on Steam. And once again, there was absolutely nothing. Steam has way more games than any other platform, so if there's nothing to play on Steam, there's absolutely nothing to play on the other platforms. Within two days, I had played basically everything I wanted to play. So let me get this straight. Steam has no games to play because you're not interested in those games. Let me make a little comparison here. Um, I'm not interested in movies anymore. There's no movies that have come out recently or are coming out that I have any interest in at all. I just kind of grew out of the hobby of watching movies. I'm not going to sit here and make a video called There's No Movies to Watch, Movies Are Dead. Now you could make a video called There's No Games on Steam That Interest Me, fair enough, but you can't sit here and say Steam has no games just because you don't want to play them. Once again, I'm going to make another like store comparison. This is like me going into a retro game store filled with games, just hundreds of thousands of games, and saying there's no games in this store because none of them interest me. Right, Doom Eternal. Hails of Arise. Right? And that's basically it, right? And of those two, the only one that was any good was Tales of Arise! I mean, I would talk about Doom Eternal, but I already have two videos going over Harmon Smith's dog shit opinion on Doom Eternal. But I really wanted to, uh, to make a video for it, uh, to give my overall thoughts on this thing. Uh, Doom Eternal is a giant piece of shit. Like, that is, that's all there is to say about that. Uh, right? So, Tales of Arise is the only good game on Steam, is uh, my understanding of this situation. There's nothing else to play. Nothing. Steam is a complete joke. You know, doesn't have Unicorn Overlord. I can just emulate that game on my PC if they don't want to put it on PC. Doesn't have Princess Peach Showtime. Yeah, and if they don't want to add Princess Peach Showtime to PC, I can just emulate that one as well. It doesn't have, like, you know, another Code R. And guess what? I can just emulate that game as well. Or Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Can anyone guess what I'm about to say? Yep, you guessed it. You can emulate that as well. You know, I have had so many good, alright games on Nintendo Switch this year, and... Steam doesn't have a fraction of that. Yeah, that's just untrue. Steam statistically has way more games than Nintendo Switch. You know, what am I going to play on this thing? Tekken 8 with its battle passes and its microtransactions and its censored female characters? No. Like, I'm not going to play Tekken 8. You know, I have good fighting games. You know, <laughs> like, if I want to play Tekken, like, I'll just play Tekken 7. Like, I don't need Tekken 8. 
You can just smell the immense levels of copium coming through his camera here. Uh, I, I don't need Tekken 8, I can just play Tekken 7. Like, okay, keep coping, dude. Okay, like, if I want to play a good fighting game, I'll play Soul Calibur 2! Guess what? I can also play Soul Calibur 2 on my PC through emulation. Bro, it's sad. How much better? Soul Calibur 2 looks, plays, and feels compared to Soul Like, it's embarrassing. Listen to that awful voice actor. Seeing these terrible character models, like, seeing, like, the world has just been really Great opening cinematic, like, the amazing music, you know, Link? You know, like, the greatest character in any fighting game ever. Like, you have Geralt and 2B. Like, what a downgrade. You know, imagine going from Link, the greatest video game character of all time, to f to freaking Geralt. Okay, I like the Zelda games. I think they're really fun to play. But let's not pretend like Link is the greatest video game character of all time. He barely ever speaks, and he's, like, barely in any cutscenes, dude. There are so many characters with way more, like, personality and character development than Link. Link is a more self-insert character rather than anything, kind of like Master Chief or something like that, where they're not really, like, there with all that much personality, they're meant for you to insert yourself into them. Okay, not like that, not like that, not in, like, a, a you know, type of way, but... Okay, one of the most overrated fantasy heroes in, like, the past 20 years, okay? You know, nobody cares about that Elric and Melibene ripoff. Nobody! If nobody cared about him, he wouldn't be quote-unquote overrated because nobody would be talking about him. Nobody likes Geralt. I like how he just says nobody cares about this character at all. Do you care to, like, provide a source for that information? Oh, wait. I think I know what your source is. My source is that I made it the fuck up. And it, it's, just, it's just one of those things. It's... It's embarrassing seeing uh, people seriously try to prop up Steam as, like, a viable alternative to Nintendo. Steam is a great alternative to Nintendo. Now, I'm not saying Nintendo is total shit or anything like that. But, I mean, Steam allows you to play tons of games. It allows you to mod your games. allows you to play online for free. Like, there's a lot good about Steam. And you can get a Steam Deck for a similar price to a Nintendo Switch, but just a little bit more. And on that Steam Deck, you can play more Nintendo games than a Nintendo Switch through emulation. Um, but emulating is a... Shut the fuck up. Because, like, you know, what's the big game everyone's talking about now? Stellar Blade? You know, that's not coming out on PC. You know, uh, Stellar Blade? That's not coming out on PC, right? You know, like, everyone knows that these games are going to come out, like, on PC eventually, but the fact that you have to wait a year? Like, you really are just better off buying a console. Not really, because I developed patience in my life, and I don't mind waiting a year for a better version of a game. It's, it's not a big deal, there's tons of other games I have to play. I have a massive backlog of games I can play while I wait for whatever game I'm waiting for to come to Steam. And if it never does come to Steam, guess what's gonna catch up eventually? Emulators. And they're gonna let me play the game on my PC. Demon's Souls on the PS3. I can play on my PC now because emulators caught up. Right? Unless you're like me and specifically uh, primarily buy Nintendo games, like, there is no reason to own a gaming PC. You know, like, I, <laughs> like, the gaming PC works for me because it allows me to avoid the hardware that I hate, right? The hardware that you hate. And I'm guessing he's talking about PlayStation and Xbox here, but he hates the PlayStation and Xbox's hardware, despite it being, like, equivalent to a 2070. Uh, but he doesn't hate the Nintendo Switch's hardware, which is, like, a mobile cell phone chip when it comes to power. But, like... If you're just a, a neophyte who is just getting a gaming PC because, like, oh, it has all the best games, like, you are in for a rude awakening. Well, not really, because it does have all the best games. And if the game you want isn't on Steam, there's other storefronts you can use on PC to get games. And if it isn't on PC at all, emulation. Boy, oh, PS Power World doesn't live up to the hype. Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't live up to the hype. Elden Ring doesn't live up to the hype. So because in your opinion, three games don't live up to the hype, that means that there's nothing to play on Steam and PC gaming is dead? What kind of logic is that? I could list out three Switch games that I believe don't live up to the hype, and then I could say, oh, Nintendo Switch is dead, Nintendo is dying, but that's a stupid thing to say and it's a stupid video to make. You know, like, we have, like, new Elden Ring DLC coming out, like, in the next couple of months, and does anyone care? I don't know, there are so many people talking about it, videos getting made, taking apart, like, parts of the lore in the trailer and stuff like that. People are interested in Elden Ring's DLC. Is anyone talking about it? No. The game is a complete joke. 
The game might be a joke in your opinion, but the game got like so much praise from critics and from players. It was universally loved by most people. You're an outlier here. Baldur's Gate 3 is um, just one example of just everything wrong with PC gaming. So Baldur's Gate 3, a game that came out, was finished on launch, they didn't milk all the consumers for microtransactions or anything like that. That's a perfect example of what's wrong with PC gaming. If that represents PC gaming, I'd say PC gaming is pretty fucking good. Right, it has nothing to do with like high quality video games or uh, mm. good graphics or good stories or like, you know, making games that are better for adults, right? It's just something targeted towards casual gamers. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is definitely not a game I'd say is for casual gamers. That shit is more for like Call of Duty or any other game like Madden, FIFA, those kind of casual style games, right? It is a mobile tier. Like, it is a mobile game, essentially. When you compare like PC gaming to console gaming, like PC gaming has more, much more aligned with like the, the mobile gaming audience. You know, it's ironic that you're sitting here talking about PC gaming being like mobile gaming when the Nintendo Switch, the console that you simp for, has literally the exact same amount of power, pretty much, as a mobile phone. Right, because everyone just has a PC lying around. Oh, I'll, I'll just download Paul World. Oh, I'll play it for like... Uh, half an hour. Oh, it was the most fun I've ever had and never touch it again. I remember you said months ago that Pal World will be forgotten, yet here you are still seething about it. I checked your channel and you're still making videos crying about Pal World. I mean, dude, let it go. You know, the rest of us have kind of moved on from Pal World. I moved on about a month after launch and uh, a lot of other people did as well. There's still some people playing it, but uh, you haven't moved on from it. Right. You know, that is the average PC gaming experience. Just like that is the average mobile gaming experience. Rather, like, when you compare that to, like, how the Nintendo fan... I feel bad for just regular Nintendo fans, not fanboys, who have to deal with people like this representing their community. Goes through games. Uh, you know, because uh, this month, March, uh, one of the best gaming months I've had in a long time. You know, Unicorn Overlord and Prince of the Peach Showtime. And guess what? PC gamers out there can enjoy those games on their PC through emulation. So, with that in mind, uh, like, when you just look at, like, the reality of what's happening with the gaming sphere, like, more and more developers, more and more, uh, you know, superior Japanese developers, are refusing to develop for PC. Yeah, and more and more people are just emulating those games. If you don't want to put those games on PC, fine, I'll just emulate them. Whatever, dude. If you put them on PC, I'll just buy them on PC. Right, there's no reason to. The audience isn't there right they they would never play a good interesting video game all they care about is like pirating their games and bragging about how much better their uh two thousand dollar gaming rigs are compared to uh to compared to consoles right you mean to tell me that a two thousand dollar pc is going to be better than a five hundred dollar console no fucking way that's mind-blowing news to me uh the narrative has uh kind of taken hold uh, among the uh, the normies, people who don't understand technology and don't understand video games, that like, oh, uh, PC gaming is better because it just is. You have no right to say that other people know nothing about technology when you literally sat here and say that the Nintendo Switch is more powerful than the PC and is superior. But the reality is that it, that, that isn't true, right? The reality is that PC gaming is not all that relevant, not all that popular, and is lagging behind its competitors, right? If PC gaming isn't that popular, then how come Steam, which is just one PC platform, has over 130 million active monthly users? Uh, you know, the one game uh, I'm enjoying right now, a uh, brand new PC game, I believe, it was like, I don't think it's 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 like, and I'm really, really enjoying it, right? This one game that could easily run on a Nintendo Switch is the only reason I have my gaming PC set up right now. So, with that in mind, uh, you know, I would prefer it if Namco, uh, Bandai Namco would just port this one game to Nintendo consoles. You know, I know you can do it. It's not that hard. You know, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is probably way more demanding this, than this is, right? Like, you need to stop making excuses and port these games 
to Nintendo consoles. Or you could go out and get something like a Steam Deck, play all your favorite Nintendo games on it, and play games like Tales of Arise that you think should be ported to the Switch, but for some reason isn't being ported to the Switch. There is no reason for me to play games like this on an inferior, more expensive piece of hardware. If it's an inferior platform, then how come it can play the game and your Nintendo Switch can't? And uh, how come the PC can play all the Switch games, but the Switch can't play all the PC games? So basically, yeah, the moral of the story is Steam has no games because he's not interested in any of them. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Peace out, guys.